Hey, can you take me? Can you take me? I'm going with my friends. Hey, I'll give you the Shit. Oh, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. Huh? It's worth it, bro. I can feel it. It's worth it. Wait, if I pay, can I go with you? Oh, I guess. Oh, that's my friend. Juan. Cool. 
Are you making a Canva poster or are you making a paper poster? Just so that you can see the examples. This group chose to do one on Canva. They just pulled a template. They threw the information in there they thought was best. This group did it on paper. You can choose if you want to do it on paper or if you want to do it on Canva. They're both good. They both have symbols, they both have quotes, they both have goals, they both show support for their political party. Okay? All right, so you're going to tell me digital or paper, and then I'm going to come back around and I'm going to assign you a political party. All right, people, talk. Paper or. So Matthew's joining us since Angela's not here? Yeah, probably. Should we ask him? Is, is Matthew joining us today since uh, Evangel's not here? Oh, bruh. Yes. Were you here yesterday? Yeah. We were all here. And it was yeah. at the diagonal group. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can we do that? Can yeah. we jump in that way? Okay, so since it's the three of you, can you do digital? Yeah. I think yeah. it's easier to work with three people on yeah. one piece of paper. Digital. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so do that. Uh, and then I'll let you pick. You guys want to do federalist or anti fed? Anti federalist. Anti federalist. Beautiful. Actually, fine. All right, federalist. Now, you can you share it? Oh. You want to share it? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do a and so you're going to do the anti fed paper, you guys are going to do federalist paper? Or sorry, Canva, federalist, anti federalist paper. You guys need paper? Okay. Yes, we're both here yesterday. I got two of each, so I'm going to like the other one. Anti-fed paper or online? Can I do it? I can see it. 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 Are you going to buy the light stick? So just huh? Do you want to go with me, or do you have someone else go with you? I'm going to ask first, but then if I don't, I'll go with you. Okay, totally cool. I'm going to have you guys work this for free. You're going to do the payout for it. Payout, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Can you buy it? If, if, like, All right, do it. if my friend he has a sister, so either the three of us are going to. All right, gentlemen. Oh. He's gone. Okay, so you three can work on one poster. Yes. Uh, I got even numbers, so you say we want to do better and better. Anti fed. All right, online and better. Uh, just share it. All right, online or yeah, sure. Wait, right day. <laughs> Last but not least, you weren't here. Did you share the document with me? Yeah. Okay, so your name go at the top. Very good. Oh, okay. okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sandra screwed it up for you. Sorry. You guys got to make two posters. Figure out who your partners are. I don't even care. Paper on my if you have a group of three, I think it's easier to do it. You know what I mean? Just start down one. I'm going to send to you through Gmail, though. Yeah. All right, people, you got about 
15 minutes to make this happen. I'll push it to 20 if people really need it. Uh, but since everybody's doing it online, it's a lot faster. Okay? So uh, you guys all know your political party. Make sure it highlights two of their goals or arguments. You got 15 minutes, folks. Go. Uh, which one are you I say you go. Federalists believe in three branches of government or no? Um. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was better. Oh. I thought it was this one. I don't know if that's good. I don't play, but I sounds better. Oh. We got ass. Yeah, better of this paper. It is evident that this department should have a will of its own. Split. I don't know, they're both good. I mean, it's pretty easy because we just take what the main points, like the middle. This is what's the argument of the text. Just take this. Did you share that? Yeah, I shared it to Jim. I shared the Do a picture of Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. One hour in the How do we do the background? Um, layout.
looking for like a brown paper texture. Is there a nice Oh, there you go. I found it. Should the information be though? In the corners? Oh yeah? Yeah, we'll put information on one side and then the pictures on the other side. Okay. What should be the two arguments? Uh, the bill rest is crucial and then uh, states that uh, equal power connect their own stuff or states? Or do you want to do uh, the uh, national government would be given too much power? Or the, the thing that second thing you said, would you say? Or, uh, is it that? You want to do that? States should have equal power over there. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you put, you should like write somewhere uh, national government has too much power. <laughs> Yeah, we 
Yeah. What font did you use? The just search up old standard. I know if not So we needed a quote, right? Uh, include text, oh, quotes, right. symbols, or images. Is there anywhere I can okay, yeah, I'll write down. I'll write down the quote. What font size are you using? 44. Or you using 38, don't you? Yeah. Uh, okay. 
Oh, I He should be in the middle of yeah. yeah. Why is it? history where one person having all the power led to bad things, okay? So, why would we want to separate the power? Why is it bad to have one person or one group have all the power? I'm going to call on somebody in about 40 seconds, so talk to the people at your table, go. So uh, that one person can't abuse their power, and for example, like, I don't know, 
what which king it was, but it was in, uh, maybe King Louis. I don't know, but like you would uh, just kill his wives because for his like I think it was against his religion to like. Divorce, so his wife would die. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. But I'm quite not, but yeah, his, he would kill his wife and then get a new wife. But then he's like, no, nah, I don't want her anymore. Kill her again. And then that thing. Yeah. Remember. The dictator. <laughs> Wait, was that? I'm not tripping, right? That was a thing. Okay. Uh, Oh man, shouldn't have me cracking up. Oh, sure. Wait, was there a king that would like kill his wives because it goes against his religion or something and then we get a new wife? I forgot. King Henry V is who you're referring to? Oh, yeah, that. Yes. Alright, David's picking a victim. Oh. Survey says. Dylan. Oh, he's not. Dil oh, Dylan was not. <laughs> you know what I do sometimes? Is if he's not here, I'll be like, Dylan with a Y. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I try to pretend like we have like a democracy in here, but at the end of the day, it's a dictatorship. Sorry. Uh, Dylan with a Y, what do you got? Uh, what is, why would they want to separate the powers in, or what's bad that's happened in history because one person's had too much power? My friend in Nazi Germany. Did you say your friends? Yes. In Nazi Germany? No, my friends said Nazi Germany. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was like, wait, I'm so confused. Okay, Nazi Germany. Uh, so who had all the power in that situation? Hitler, right? You got one guy that has all the power. Can he choose to like violate the rights of a group of people? If he feels like it. If he feels like it, and he did, and he led to like 10 million people dying, right? Uh, so that is, I mean, I, that is the one example where it's like nobody can argue with, right? Uh, Chris. Cards pick who they pick, sorry man. Uh, why would they want to divide up the power though? Besides, I mean, yes, Hitler is like the easy answer, uh, but why would it be good to divide up power? So like, one um, person doesn't have to do, doesn't have all the responsibility, but like, give it to like people who are like, experts in a specific field. Nice, if you divide up power, you can have the people that are experts in that field do a really good job. And that's going to lead to a more like multitask. <laughs> okay, yeah. So people don't multitask, right? You put people in charge of something that they're good at, and that's going to lead to like better outcomes for the country. I like it. I like it. Okay. So we have Hitler's bad. He's an example why you don't want too much power on one hand. Well, guess what? Our government, based on that, we are going to do both of these things in the next 24 minutes. So pay attention. Okay. We're going to do a little simulation activity where we practice having three branches of government. And you're also simultaneously going to be researching your representatives and multiple levels of government. And here's why. Our government is based on separation of powers. So three different branches, right? we got the legislative, the executive, and the judicial. That's kind of like the big separation. We also divide our government into levels, and that's called federalism. And we have the federal level, those are top dogs, right, of the federal government. We have state governments. We have county governments. We have city governments. We have school board governments. And that's federalism, taking the powers of government and putting it in different levels as well. So we're divided and separating our power all over the place. And you're going to do research about both, okay? So here's the first thing that we need to do. You're going to find this assignment right here. Find my representatives, okay? And one person at each table is gonna make a copy of that doc and share it with everybody else. And for the purposes of the simulation, I need you to, to join another group. I don't care what you can do in the same group together. You can, I don't care. Okay, but I need, I need a total of one, two, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's fine. I'll just make you another legislative one. You're good. You're good. Are you sure? 
Does everybody have uh, their group's coffee open? Okay, here's your next job. Each person in the group is going to claim only one representative level. Okay? So, for example, Joel might claim the city council member. Okay? Bama might claim the school board trustee member. <coughs> And on my claim, the OC Board of Supervisor Rep and uh, Johnny could claim the House of Representatives Rep in Congress or the State Assembly person, it doesn't matter. Okay? Uh, but each person is responsible for one representative. If you are in a group of three, you're doing three of these people. If you're in a group of four, you're going to be four. You guys get it? Okay. Everybody pick the person they are going to be researching. The representative they will be researching. Okay? Go ahead and drop your name in there so I know who is doing what. Right? Put your name next to the person you are representing. So, for example, Eric, who are you going to do research about? What level of government? OC Board of Supervisors. OC Board of Supervisors. So, Eric will put his name. Is that right? E R I K? E R I R C? Sorry. E R I. Okay. Leave, right? Yeah, you got it. All right, boom. So drop your name at the bottom of your box. Does everybody have their name at the bottom of their box? Don, what's uh, your person? What representative level are you uh, researching? Say again. You only got to do one. Which one? The same one. State rep. State rep, let's go. We need one more example. Let's see here. Jose, who are you, re uh, who are you researching? Uh, my house. Congress representative. House of representatives. So the bottom one, right? Yeah. OK, cool. That was really easy. Good pick. Good pick. <laughs> All right, so here's what's going to happen. Each of your groups is going to be assigned as a branch of government. While you are not in power, you are working on this. When you are in power, you're going to be working on a law, okay? So, I need everybody's eyeballs to continue looking this way. Eyeballs, look at this way. So you're going to have two things happening at once, okay? So, you're going to be working on this while you're not in power, but each of you is going to be, at some point, in power, okay? So, we're going to start with our legislative groups, which I will assign momentarily. They're going to write a law. Then it's going to move to our executive group, and they're going to decide how to enforce that law. And then it's going to move to our judicial groups, who are either going to say this is constitutional, and they will uphold it, or they'll say it's unconstitutional, and they'll tear it up and throw it away. It's that simple, okay? So, here's how it's going to work. Uh, last period, we did four minutes per rotation, and it worked great. So that's what we're going to do, okay? So uh, let's go like this. Remember your branch. You guys ready? Ready? Okay. Legislative. What's your branch? Nice. Also legislative. You guys good? Okay. Executive. Judicial. Good? Okay. Legislative. Also legislative. Executive. Judicial. You guys know your branch? Yeah. Cool. So, my legislative groups, please raise your hands. Don't worry about the other side, you're using the blank side of scratch paper. Beautiful. Okay. So for the next four minutes, legislative groups are doing this. You're going to create a new class rule. You and the other legislative branch members must come to a consensus and write the rule down on a piece of paper. Your law must get signed by the executive to go into effect. That will be in the next rotation. Here's your sentence starter. Everyone in the class is now required to 
and you decide what you think everybody in the class is going to be required to do. Okay? You got four minutes. All the other people in that legislative group, you're working on the find my representative work. Okay? So keep doing your research. Four minutes. <laughs> So what are we talking about? The school board trustee? Yeah. Or the OC no, no, board? No, uh, OC board rep. So figure out who yours is. So click on the map. Oh. And figure out who your person is. You know what I'm saying? Try to base it off your house, if possible. Oh, wait. You guys are doing Oh, did you already do it? Oh, we'll do that. That's your job right now. Okay. You should do this. Write you off. Write you off. What do we got? Do it. Write something else. Who else? You guys, what's our law? Uh, Everyone in class is now required to? Write that. That's not bad. Okay. That would be upheld. Right? I think most people want to be like, yes. Yeah. 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 folks we got one minute
Okay. Encouraged. Empowered. Were you guys, what was you? Legislative or judicial? Wait, no, executive. Executive, let's go. Okay. <coughs> uh, everyone in the class is now required to participate once. You have two. Uh, everyone in class is encouraged to express their freedom in court. All right, legislative groups, you're going to continue your research. Executive votes, here's your job. You are now going to decide how to enforce or make people follow this rule. And you're going to assign monitors. Be specific. Who are you assigning? Okay. We will assign blank monitors to make sure people do whatever the law is. Or, if you think it's stupid and you disagree with it, we will veto this rule because that okay. executive people, you got to do that for both laws that are proposed. Okay, executive votes, both laws that are proposed. Okay, so you're writing two sentences, one for each rule. All right, people, four minutes on that. Everybody else is working on there. Right on here. I kind of agree with, I agree with Colin. Yes. The participation. Everyone should participate in two weeks. For like, what? Like, like anything like reading aloud, answering questions, responding. Oh. Uh, you could like, enforce it how you want. Everyone in class is encouraged. <laughs> Yeah, your name. I don't know how we would enforce that. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, no, because uh, we're gonna, we're gonna be told. <laughs> he said, he said, he said we can say it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So now you're gonna figure out your assembly council member. You need their name, how long they've been in their job, their picture, and something about it. What the hell is this? Yeah, yeah, People, if you need help finding your representative on the map or something, let me know. I got you. <coughs> Is valid or what? The bottom? Because like, if you're gonna tweak, if you're gonna tweak out, you know. Like, no. Everyone. Those. But ideally, it's your person, right? Because the district has a representative for different parts of the city, right? So figure out who the person is that represents your part of the city. Yeah, you know where you live. I said we will enforce this law by having a participation sheet ensuring everyone does something and gains. Okay, you got to figure it out based on the map. So you got to look at the map to figure out who's in charge of that. Everyone is like, I don't Go up a little bit. It's on the right. Oh, what's up? 
Tom, do you feel like she represents you? Uh, <laughs> it's not looking at But she would You don't pay taxes, you don't know? Do you buy stuff? Do you know every time you buy stuff, you pay taxes? Everybody does. Everybody does. But they decide how much the taxes are. Uh oh. Yeah, I gotta move on. What's up? Uh, is it this one for uh, the US? Uh, he held the position. Who are we talking about? Andrew Doe. Okay, so Andrew Doe. Andrew. Racist abuse. That's cringy. Okay, go up. So what's his current job? So this is like the previous stuff, right? So currently, we're trying to supervise her. So January 10th. Michelle Steele, Michelle Steele, oh, wait. Vice Chair of Orange County Board of Supervisors. Preceded by Donald Wagner, preceded by Michelle Steele. Scroll up, all the way? Okay. Andrew Doe. American politician who is Orange County Supervisor representing the 1st District. Okay, no. It'll be when he got elected to this. So scroll down just a little bit. So it would be right here. January 10, 2023. To now. Because he's still in that position. Dude, that's the whole definition of okay. All right, people. Last rotation. We got to make it quick because y'all are out here in seven minutes. So, judicial branches, I'm about to hand you the laws, you guys are the judiciary, right? Yes? Okay. And move my other ones. I need both. Please? Alright, we're going to find out if these laws made it. Okay, judiciary people, you're going to determine whether this law or laws are constitutional, and you're going to say we find the rules <coughs> constitutional or unconstitutional. If it is unconstitutional, you may tear it up and put it in the trash. But that's all I say it's too. Okay. So first decide, who am I talking to? First decide if it's constitutional or not and write that. And then in about three minutes, we'll have you either tear it up or say the constitution. Exactly. It's not do you like it or not. It's does it violate people's rights? And if it violates people's rights, it's trash. And if it doesn't, you uphold it. Each person is responsible for one. 
Don't delete it, just leave it. So you should have a total of four, right? One, two, three, two, the other one. Please practice a little bit. Exactly. Yeah, As long as the link is there, if you're worried about it, just grab the link and okay. put it in the comment. Yeah. Alright. Here's the judiciary, right? What do we decide? Are we upholding it or no? You have one job. Three minutes. What do we decide? Yes or no? Okay, so you're going to read the one that says yes, and then you're going to read the one that says no and throw it in the trash. Cool? Who's going to do that? Thanks. Min on. <laughs> Here's my other judiciary. All right. What are we doing? Okay. So, violates people's rights. Uh, is this where the police are going to take you to your car? Yeah. It seems like a uh, violation of rights, right? Right? It could be like an escort, it could be like a helper. So beautiful. So you'll read it as is. Unconstitutional, tear it out, throw the trash. Okay, then you're going to read it as it is. It's good. All right, people, I only got two minutes. So here's the fun part. You're fine, your representative. You're coming back to you tomorrow. So don't trip about it. Go ahead and close your computer. Don't move, though. Stay on. Come here. We got the Supreme Court up here. It's going to read the two laws. They're going to tell you which one we're going to keep and which one goes in the trash. Okay? Go ahead, sir. Um, everyone in this class is now required to participate once a week. And is that being upheld or violation of human rights? Uh, upheld. Upheld, okay, leave it on my desk. And the other law? Everyone in this class is encouraged to express their freedom and importance. And this is a violation of human rights? Yes. Okay, tear it up, put it in the trash. <laughs> Not what I expected. All right, just for the sake of time, I got this group. Students are now required to go home if there's a flash flood. Uh, you will be assigned a police monitor to make sure that people are taken to their cars and safely get out. Uh, we find the rule to be unconstitutional because of its extremity with problem with how they will be treated. Unconstitutional. All right, Chris. We're going as is. Everyone in class is now required to be marked tardy if they are more than 15 minutes late. We find the rule to... Is this being upheld or no? It is being upheld. It is being upheld. You got a 15 minute grace period and you won't be marked tardy. Let's go. Upheld, but not by me. <laughs> very nice. I'm very happy, y'all.
questions. Uh, 50.
right, so log in codes up there. Put away your phones. You gotta get the test done in the class period, okay? So you can all the questions in. Uh, when you finish, uh, you can find your assignments are due tomorrow. Your uh, questions and your work for you.
ten minutes left to finish up. Please make sure you get all your answers in. You got ten minutes left.
five minutes left to finish up these pictures.